Did you know that you can build a greenhouse in The Sims 4 without any expansion pack or kit? That's right. Any enclosed space protected from the elements can function as a greenhouse. Let's get started on building a basic greenhouse using just the base game. I'm going to show you that this is just base game. Go into my tag list over here on the right and I'm going to take base game and th that will only show up every anything with the base game. First, we want to build a simple rectangular room. And we're going to do that by clicking the room tool. Then you add a roof. Any roof will do, but I'm going to use just a simple a gabled roof. And step three is to make it look like a real greenhouse. First, you want to pick out a nice glass texture for the roof. And we have five to choose from. Now, I am going to choose the hexagon panel glass roof just because I like hexagons. But you can choose any glass roof that you want. And you want to find a nice window to match the full length of your walls. So if you plan to grow a tree in your greenhouse, you're going to need at least medium wall height, which is what it's currently on. If you're just going to grow flowers, a short wall height will do. If you're going to grow big trees, like if you want fake tree, one that doesn't grow but is just decorative in there to make it look like you grew it, you'll want a tall one. What you want to do, like I said, choose a window. We're going to do medium height and I'm going to go ahead and choose the lofty looker, I think. So choose a swatch, any swatch will do. Put windows all the way around the building, leaving space on one side for a door. For a seamless look, you can use a matching glass door that is as tall as the windows, if there are any. For this, we're gonna use the steel and glass double door with tall transom to give it that nice seamless look. And the next step is to decorate the greenhouse. Best thing to do, and to overhead camera mode, you can do that by hitting the T key on your keyboard. Demolish the floor inside and use terrain paints to put dirt and paths in the greenhouse. Or you can use floor tiles if you prefer. Um, I'm going to add terrain paint. We're going to do the flagstone papers. Then we can also create a path, you know, just to make it a little bit more realistic. Create like a little path here, maybe leading down to the main path. There we go. Right, so the next thing you want to do is add planter boxes. If you don't know where they are, you can search for them. Just type in planter and all of the planter boxes will show up. That's in the base game. I'm just going to do some of these little garden pots here. Just add a few little planters here and there. Maybe a little seat, something that's outdoorsy. Put a little bench in there. Maybe a little table so that you can relax and look at your plants. Have a little bit of a drink, maybe. I mean, you can go as simple or fancy as you want. This is quite simple inside so if you really want to you can do things like maybe a bit of lighting and have just some simple outdoorsy style lighting here i mean who doesn't like some fairy lights you know fairy lights are iconic in, in builds like these then you can go with a little bit of storage have a nice little box out here and you can use it to store your your various gardening supplies in and then finally you can do the walls on the inside and outside and the roof for paint I would suggest something quite simple, like maybe a little bit of siding, just to, to finish it off and get rid of the, the drywall. You're not going to be able to see it too much because, you know, it's all windows, but a little bit makes it look completely finished. Get creative. You can make a tiny, simple greenhouse with a few decor pieces or create an elaborate, sprawling estate with platforms and fountains and endless sections for different species of plants. The possibilities are literally endless, and it's just all down to your imagination. Uh, greenhouses in The Sims are incredibly useful if you have The Sims 4 Seasons expansion pack. They allow you to grow any type of plant, even trees, all year round, even if the weather outside is not ideal. This is great for simmers who want to have a garden but live in a cold climate or who want to be able to harvest their crops regardless of the seasons. The only downside to using a greenhouse is you need to water the plants yourself or hire a gardener. There is a little bit of a cheat though. If you have seasons, you can buy the Sprinkle-O-Matic 2001 and you can use that to water your plants. Overall, greenhouses are a great way to extend the growing season and have a fresh supply of flowers and food all year round. If you have the Sims 4 Season Expansion Pack, I highly recommend building a greenhouse. But did you know that you don't need a greenhouse to grow plants all year round in the Sims 4? Any room with a roof will do. In fact, you can keep your plants in your living room, your bedroom, or anywhere else indoors as long as they have a roof over them 
they will not go dormant when out of season. You do not even need walls. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. Rooftop, four pillars, that's all you need, really. You don't need a fancy greenhouse like this. It's pretty, but you don't need one. If you're on a budget, use one of these. And this works for plants uh, all year round. So you now know the basics of building greenhouses in The Sims 4. Here's a few ideas to get you started. Build a greenhouse that matches your Sims personality. If your Sim is a nature lover, build a greenhouse that is surrounded by trees and flowers. If your Sim is a scientist, build a greenhouse that's full of high-tech equipment. You can build a greenhouse that is functional and stylish. You can include features like a water feature, a seating area, and a place to store your gardening tools. Another idea is to build a greenhouse that is unique and one of a kind. You can use different windows, walls, and roofs to create a greenhouse that is truly your own. Over here in the UK, I don't know if they're in the US, but in the UK we have allotments. And allotments are patches of land that have been owned by people's families for, for generations. It stems back to like World War II era. People make their own greenhouses out of just odd bits of pallet boards and just odd windows, you know, mismatched windows and doors. It's really, really cool to see. So you could build one of those if you really wanted to, instead of something fancy like this that has all matching windows and doors. Mix and match. Totally create a brand new greenhouse that, that matches your Sims aesthetic. Like I said, the possibilities are endless. Get out there and start building. And if you do create your own greenhouse, especially using any of the, the ideas that I've shared here, please let me know. Uh, I'm over on Twitter as Mirjagon, so tag me over there and, and show me your screen grabs. I would love to see them.